Dante's Discussion. Welcome back to another edition of Dante's Discussion Answers. That's right, where we put your answers in the video that you gave for the question. That was, of course, for Dark Souls 3. Let's be honest, it's been for the Dark Souls games for a while. But the question, of course, was, should the Dark Souls 2 backstep be in Dark Souls 3? That is the question. That is what we are going with. And it is interesting question. I gave you my thoughts in the previous video. And, of course, you can see it here. What I put on Facts for the sort of truncated version. But here on YouTube and on Facts for Life, I'm excited to see what you guys say and why you said it. Of course, some people would just put yes or no, which is fine. I appreciate all answers. Well, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> I didn't actually read all these yet, so hopefully I appreciate them and they aren't mean to me. <laughs> Anyways, we go on Fextra Life already. And Jara says, reduced roll iframes and give it the same iframes as rolls. Now, that's interesting. It's sort of, um, I'm for it coming back, but... I got some stipulations. That's sort of how I said it. They should come back, but they shouldn't be as good. Now, this person wants to change the whole damn game. I'm kind of fine with it because rolls are OP, too easy, and so on. Next up, we have Satient One on YouTube. This is a new name, I believe, which I'm excited. But Satient One says, yes, they should. Bit, I'm assuming, but with less backstep iframes, most important is the speed. Um, and again, this is sort of another only if they do it a certain way. Yes, and the speed is important. The speed is important now. They should bring it back, or they should at least fix back steps now to where they are quicker startup and quicker, I guess, end time or something. Uh, just quicker all around because they're useless. <laughs> they're really tough to really utilize. Next up, we have on Fextra Life Exalus. Bring back back steps with half the iframes and much more stamina cost give rolls the same treatment again fixing the rolls fixing the iframes lowering them because rolling is just it's too crazy and obviously with the freaking blood ring it can be absurd septic guy sam says no 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 Brackaf on Fextra Life. You get hit because of the lag, not because it's too slow. In PvE, it works perfectly fine. It works in PvP too, but only if you're barely within reach from the start. So the running attack only works against weapons that push the other one forward enough. Really, I don't know. Sure, in a backstep and hit sense, it's not really that useful, but I still use it, and it often works, and I don't think it should be any more useful than something you break out once in a while. I do all the time for positioning though and i don't think it should be faster because the ravioli stuff is way more fun anyway and with unlocking while doing a back step i can barely start my dance moves already i'm a little confused on the ravioli stuff i'm excited to know about it if you know what he's talking about put it in the comments below uh i'm not positive i feel like a noob not knowing this ravioli stuff uh <laughs> sounds delicious sure but uh, he says that he still uses it and works perfectly fine in PvE. I don't understand that. <laughs> I don't think it's because of lag. Your your character still moves the same exact way in PvP than in PvE. It's the other people that are different. So that's a little confusing to me. I don't really understand that. Um, and it doesn't really work perfectly fine in pvp i've used it in pve and got obliterated for it just testing out to see if it would work it's one of the it's i don't know i i'm not really sure what he means i guess uh you can put it in the comments below tell me what you think about that one brackaf what are you doing to me man and unakis says it will promote an incentive to vary moves again the raviolis 
are good at breaking rhythm and create surprise, but as they are, they are also good at getting yourself killed. They work great versus good players, but trying to use ravioli steps versus beginners just gets you stabbed because they're not really even uh, seeing the intent. The number of beautiful back stabs aborted by blind R1 spams I have already I have seen already. Alright, interesting wording. I'm... Hmm. Uh, that's... I uh, gotta be honest. A little tough to understand. I think he means beautiful back steps aborted by blind R1 spams. I... I guess, I don't know if they're beautiful. If you can't pull them off and you're not able to pull them off ever, how are they beautiful? I don't, I guess, I'm not sure. I think they are for it. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know what's happening. On YouTube, JS Pumpkin King says Dark Souls 2 back steps for Dark Souls 3. Yeah, I think they should. However, and this is, I don't know how they did that bold. And this is a however with all caps and all bold. So it's important. They must not make the backstep iframes as huge as Dark Souls 2, although huge iframes are mostly thanks to 105 agility, aka 10 attunement, plus 30 adaptability. Uh, but what I'm trying to say is, if they are bringing back Dark Souls 2 backstep, they should make it as just another different kind of rolling dodging, but instead they should make it uh, as some kind of diverse, different tactical approach for combat. Again, you know, I, I agree with this... Uh, for the most part, right? they they have to make it specifically. Like they can't make it. I don't think they can make it as good as the roll, or definitely tone down the. I think they should tone down the roll iframes anyway, but they sh definitely shouldn't make it as good as the roll. Um, and maybe they should make it uh, as good, dependent on your weight. You know that like you know if you're under thirty, maybe you get like. Uh, like full iframes compared to the rolls something like that and then every 10 you lose like three or two iframes i don't know how the hell it would work whatever they they make up the rules damn it but yeah i mean again another stipulation on making the back step in the game much better because it is trash extra life five scissors four seven five i can't consistently perform them so i honestly don't care well i mean i guess it's honest and I know this is a jokester, but guess what? You can't perform it. I see through your crap, bro. <laughs> no, um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I guess if it never mattered to you, why would you care, right? I mean, that was almost the same thing with me with parries. I never really threw out parries, but it did bother me how easy it was uh, for the Cestus to parry. You could just spam parry in between, you know, uh, a great sword or, or even ultra great sword one hand and you can spam it twice as somebody's swinging and still get the parry. That, to me, is crap. There should be a, uh, maybe even a slightly longer uh, wind-up time or uh, recovery time for that. But, you know, whatever. It's fine. I, I rarely get parried anymore because I know to delay things now. You know, it's all about learning. It's got to learn the game a little bit. Extra lives BWO Razor Swarm. <laughs> hmm. I'd be fine with backsteps having iframes again. So long as they were less and you couldn't cancel basically every attack with a back step that was my main issue with it in dark souls 2 being able to an animation cancel out of everything made pvp superly frustrating at high levels of play um you know it's funny because people complain about the opposite people complain that you can't move cancel uh, as far as i know i don't or if you can i don't know how to do it but you can't you can't uh animation cancel or you can't uh um attack cancel in this game and people complain that that sort of limits it, that they... I don't know if Dark Souls 2 actually put that in the game on purpose. That, I'm not sure. I don't I don't think so. That seems like a weird thing to put in. But, yeah, I mean, I can see why people complain for and against animation cancel. Sort of allows for extra bit of trickery. I'm, I'm kind of more for it than against. Uh, however... It could, well, I don't know. I, like, what would be the problem? Maybe maybe that's another discussion topic, but what would be the problem? All right, let's not talk about that. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about, I want to talk about this, but all right, whatever. We're talking about back steps, and he says, uh, you'd be fine with the having iframes, but less. Again, another stipulation. It seems like everybody who's sort of for it 
is for it, but with the same stipulation. That's what we've been finding out. YouTube's Corey Horn says, as much as I love backstepping in the world in Dark Souls 2, I think if they put it uh, put Dark Souls 2 backsteps in Dark Souls 3, it would just cause everybody to abuse them like in 2. And the role is already so good and backsteps don't really need iframes. I do agree that it should be quicker though. That's what, you know, that's what I was trying to get at is I'm not even saying give them iframes. Uh, I'm just saying it should be faster and maybe even farther because you get hit no matter what basically it's rare that it ever works and if it does work you're probably too far anyway to hit them unless you have a, a really long weapon so it's it's pretty bad but quicker maybe farther um and also quicker startup and uh you know cool down time or whatever you want to call it that's what i think the soup the soup is here, and he says, I think it's fine that they have no iframes. It's unfortunate that it is also uh, it also is a short, clumsy animation. Patching iframes in would obviously be a disaster for balance issues. Everyone would be relearning the game. It's a lot to consider when making a huge change like that, and I have no idea if iframes would be conductive to how the game plays as far as the animation. I think it. Uh, I think just increasing the distance you move when backstep would be enough to balance its use. Maybe, I don't know. I could be wrong, but I think the skill cap for PvP would rise quite a bit if something like backstepping became a viable, versatile technique. It would affect every weapon, every playstyle. Maybe it would allow some of the underpowered weapons to shine. Not sure how, but hey, new tech is new tech. Yeah, I mean, I agree. Maybe the brand, the soldering iron, would then be viable. Just backstepping the world away. I mean... Everybody's got to remember the backstep parry. That was so infamous for the nubs of the world. I mean, if you saw somebody swing, you backstep parried, you did it. It was almost like second nature. It didn't matter what shield you had because it was just the timing was perfect. Backstep parry. It didn't matter what they had. You're like, oh, they had an ultra great one hand, backstep, then parry. You know, you just waited a little bit. It's. It's kind of sad that I, there's not many things like that in this game. And I guess they're, this sort of was replaced with the get hit twice and then parry if they try to spam it. But that only works with very particular uh, weapons first and uh, very particular shield or parrying item. And I've noticed, and I've done a little bit testing on that. Quicker weapons, you can't do it with a, uh, with a medium shield. You just can't. You get hit again. Uh, slower weapons, you can do it with a medium shield. Karthus two-handed, you can't do it, actually, if you hit somebody and they have the Cestus. This is what I tested. This very strange testing, very sort of off topic here. Somebody has two-handed Karthus and they attack you twice and you try to parry with the Cestus. You don't get it on the third. You, however... Dependent on your poise, get it on the fourth. Very strange. It's very weird. Um, and it's definitely a thing that happened to me. Maybe you can try that out. That's all I'm saying is I tried this out multiple times and it's weird. And I, I'm talking about just mashing the parry. Um, and Carthage is just OP. <laughs> Nun Karuji says, I haven't thought about the implications, but I will state this. In a zero latency match, backsteps can successively avoid attacks. In fact, NPCs will do it to you effectively. The problem for real world humans is either timing is oppressive or latency makes it impossible. I. It's funny because you actually talked. The other guy earlier talked about that. How, oh, in PvE, it works perfectly. I don't think so. And Phantom Rage is a thing, right? And that. I. I guess that's only a thing in PvP, but be I guess, yeah, I mean, I guess because of Phantom Rage, that just, it just doesn't work for the most part. But I mean, even if you're really close to somebody and they have a long sword or whatever, you're still going to get hit. So when you're close, it doesn't matter. If you're far enough away to maybe get out of it, maybe, but... I mean, I use a little, usually smaller weapons, and I have to be close, so that, it just, I don't know. It's so, the window for using back steps is so tiny that it's 
it's almost better to just not do it and then try to put your efforts in other things. So that's like, that's how bad it is. <laughs> that's what I think. Gunk Boy on the YouTube says, I feel that Dark Souls 3 backsteps are useless, and I think that Dark Souls 3 should not have Dark Souls 2 backsteps because I feel that there are, there are too much iframes. Now, if Dark Souls 3 had little iframes at the beginning, I'd be fine, or you get hyper armor when you backstep. Okay, I'm done now. That's interesting. Now, I didn't actually think about that. Sort of having a poise hyper armor through the backstep. Huh. That is interesting. That could be a thing. It could be dependent on your poise if you're able to backstep through attacks. You still get hit, you still get damaged, but you backstep through the attack. That could be an interesting thing for the game. Just think, you know, you have fist or something, or actually that would work with just weapons that have hyper armor anyway. So you backstep, you do your, do your attacks, and that's that's interesting hyper armor huh i kind of like that actually as just like a weird thing to put in there that would definitely change the game a lot especially with bigger weapons because then instead of looking for people uh yeah instead of looking to hyper armor people with your attack hyper armor through backstep and then try to attack them that that would definitely shake things up i kind of like that that's interesting Ryan McGinniskin says, I'm thunking that, yeah, they should definitely bring it back, but maybe half the iframes you could get in Dark Souls 2 because that was crazy, or maybe speed up the Dark Souls 2 animation a little, but, and remove all the iframes, just my 10 cents. 10 cents, you give me 90 more cents, and maybe I'll go to McDonald's, get me my uh, McDouble. I think around here, they're about a dollar. Dollar seven with tax. Yeah. All right. You give me 97? <laughs> no, all right. No, um, yeah, again, you know, it's just like what everybody says. For stipulations, bring it back. Remove the iframes. Uncle Odie says, I don't think I have a good answer for this question. It missing doesn't affect me, but I can see how it could be useful if returned. Interesting. I think Uncle Odie doesn't play PvP often or at all. Maybe just the game, but still, it could have and was useful in PvE if you used it in Dark Souls 2. Could be. It was actually something I learned much later after I already beat the game and after I've been playing PvP for hours. Uh, something people said, oh, you should try backstepping. I was like, all right, fine, I'll try it. And then I tried it and I used it a lot. But yeah, I don't know. It was interesting. It was interesting. But uh, no good answer. Still love to have you here, buddy. Extra Life's Jack the Stripper <laughs> says, instead of giving iframes, it should grant a bit of hyper armor. Again, another hyper armor person. Uh, it'd be... Uh, it, it'd also be sick if they'd take out the need for Xbox and PlayStation players to buffer for reverse back steps. That said, I still use them quite a bit. They're very uh, usable with the Hollow Slayer R2 and similar attacks, and I use them in the subsequent running attack often enough. That's interesting. This is someone who definitely uses it uh, a lot. And it looks like they use it with bigger weapons. I'm assuming there's hyper armor and the run attack. That I haven't tested much. Not that positive i'm assuming there is because there isn't rolling attacks and regular attacks hollow slayer op um yeah that's interesting i mean one of the it's tough it's one of those things where it's almost like a parry that's what kind of makes me think of how a lot of people are using this that's a little strange to me is wouldn't it be better if you just parried somebody's attack rather than backstepping because generally you're backstepping to get out of an attack right um, and how backsteps were in Dark Souls 2 was you saw an attack and you backstepped, or you just sort of spammed it and got through everything, but you saw an attack and you backstepped, right? Dark Souls 2, you couldn't really react to parry because of how the net code or whatever was. Uh, you can only really react to, uh, parry to, like, great swords. You know, that was about it. Or ultra great swords. Uh, and even then, you know, the timing had to be perfect and still a little bit early. In this game, though, you... I think you can react to parry everything greatsword and above. So, like, the timing is quicker, and the startup time is, is quicker for most of the pairing items, or the good ones, at least. Uh, so, I guess my question is, like, if you're going against someone who you're predicting they're going to attack, so you backstep, 
And I'm not talking about like when you're just backstepping to get the running attack. I'm talking about when you backstep because you think they're going to attack. Why won't you just parry at that point, you know? Maybe that's just me. Obviously, they're close enough to hit you. Because why would you backstep? I, I don't know. Just curious on that end. Maybe you can put it in the comments below. Just very curious. Like, just parry because then you get whatever. 800 damage. Whatever the hell you're using. Hornet ring. 1100, you know? More. Put more on there. <laughs> more on blade. Left hand. You have no life. Freaking tear stone ring. You get like 1600 damage. Get wrecked. <laughs> YouTube's death like magic go for honestly for me under two conditions they bring back guy frames one as much as it kills me they bring back that ability and then I'd love if they brought back animation cancels number two if they give it half as many iframes as a roll so it's not something people can completely use the F with ultra great sword users again you know adaptability I want it back <laughs> but uh, yeah it does seem like it could definitely be OP ish i guess because you'd be so afraid with ultra great sword users because they would just hyper armor and they should do more damage than you are doing to them um so it could be crazy still interesting but i still think people would figure it out and you know it wouldn't be too bad i don't know i i want to see it i want to see some so i want to see a change that shakes the whole game up. That's what I want to see. Like a real change. Not not something corny like, oh, well, now the assassin's parrying animation is just like one unframe lesson. No, just like, like crush the game. Make the game like different, you know? Make it like Dark Souls 3.5. I want adaptability. I want freaking iframes on everything. I want iframes on jumps. I want iframes on freaking jumps and jumps. I do think they've really massacred jump attacks in this game. I think... I actually... This is another question, I, but... I I would think jump attacks could get iframes. I mean, come on. You're in... Especially if you're coming down. It should almost be like the... The uh, rule in basketball with goaltending. It's almost like the reverse rule, I guess. So, if a shot is going up in basketball, if you don't know this... If a shot's going up and you block it, that's a block. If a shot goes up and it comes back down and you try to block it, that's a goal 10. They get the points. That's sort of how it should be with jump attacks. If you're going up for the jump and you get hit, you should get knocked out of it. If you're coming down from the jump and you get hit, you should fall, follow through with it. In my experience, that is not the case. Jump attacks are almost worthless except for the cool occasion with certain swipey type weapons like halberds have a really good roll punish jump attack that can finish off a lot of opponents especially if you don't try to spam it for early hits next up we have azad gray sand from fextra life doing multiple back steps on pvp been there done that on previous series looks like this guy wants something new something uh different every time but what if the different is bad or lame I mean, what if they just took out weapons in Dark Souls? Because guess what? You had weapons in the others. <laughs> I don't know. It can't go that far. I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like they care. I Chronicle says on YouTube, I think, yes, backsteps are pretty much useless right now in Dark Souls 3, but they shouldn't give it as much iframes as in Dark Souls 2. It could really get annoying in Dark Souls 2 when all people did was backstep, especially when using slower weapons. <laughs> they would have to balance it with quick step weapon art from daggers so that weapon art doesn't become obsolete that's an interesting aspect actually um something i did think about i didn't mention but because the weapon art of you know daggers the quick step I th is it don't no it's daggers and some fist weapons uh, i can't remember either way the quick step weapon art yeah like would that become obsolete um and I guess the, the difference in that is obviously the quick step, you can move any direction you want, whereas back step is whatever your back is facing, I guess. Uh, so that's the difference there. Um, but I definitely see what you're saying. It would have to be pretty small iframes, I think, to not make it obsolete or to not make everybody have that sort of quick step weapon art. Definitely, I definitely see why they wouldn't put it in because of that specifically. Like, just taking something out of the game, almost. But at the same time, they've already done that a lot with a lot of stuff. Like, 
spears are pretty slow and it's tough to use a lot of them. Pikes? Ugh. Come on. What are you doing? Interesting name. Things betwixt on YouTube says backstep in this one is good as they are. I mean, I don't agree, but if somehow you're making use of them, I'm amazed. I applaud you and I want to see this. <laughs> Last but not least, we have Real Ogre 32 just simply says yes. I think the consensus here, I didn't tally it up, and I'm not going to. <laughs> because there's it's just a lot of people saying yes, basically. But it looked like out of a hundred people, ninety-eight say yes. Well, I would say ninety-five say yes with the stipulation. And maybe three just simply say yes. And two basically say no. Like that most people say yes. It's like that high where everybody's like yes, but die frames limit, blah, 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 that type stuff. That's a consensus. Come on from software. Listen to this video. Bring it back, baby. Eye frames all over the place or just make it quicker and farther. I just want to see the implications of making it quicker and farther. It just needs to be snappy, really snappy. Make it freaking snappy fast. Make it how Dark Souls 2 had it, but just not have iframes. So really quick, and you can do it multiple times really quick instead of like the weird, like it's like weirdly slow. It's almost like slow, like, uh, like Pikes, how Pikes, you know, he winds up and then it's like oh my god he finally attacked with it if somebody you know I, and i've done this with a lot but so i know someone's attacking so i was like i try to attack when they attack because i know i have range they attack i'm attacking same time and then they're able to roll away that's how good rolls are in this game <laughs> it's ridiculous it's crazy anyways let's not talk about that we're talking about back steps i think a consensus is everybody wants it most people want them in with stipulations either limited iframes faster quicker farther or a combination of something therein so just do it from software there you go i hope you guys enjoyed this one put uh your comments below tell me what you think about this most people like it some do not but for the most part most people do <laughs> majority rules baby democracy hopefully definitely not they're not going to do a lot of work i heard the dlc is coming out in 2017 are you real right now? That's crazy. I already paid for my pass. What is happening from software? You're blowing it. Anyways, let's not talk about that. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you think, and I will be back.